Hey everybody, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at Ordinary World by Duran Duran. So we have basically three chord progressions. We're in standard tuning here with that cool little melody as well. And there's a little uh, guitar break where we do some interesting kind of picking there. So I'm going to cover that section as well. All right, so let's start here with these, this opening. Now the, it opens with that melody there. So I'm going to show you the melody first, and then I'm going to show you the chords that work underneath that melody, which are also the exact same chords that you'll use during the chorus. All right, so this little melody is easy. It's just down the high E string. Start at the 12th fret here. Hit that a few times and slide down to 11. Then hit a couple times, slide down to nine. A couple times to seven. So here it is. Then up to 14, slide down to 12, 11, 9, 7, so like this. And from here we have this. So that's just 7, 5, 7 on the high E to 5 on the B string. So you kind of rotate between those two notes, and then back to the melody again. So we're doing between the 7 and 5 on the B to end it again. So we have a little variation. So that's 5 on the B, 7 on the high E still. Back to that 5, and then just roll to that 5th fret on the high E and go between those two notes now. And you're going to end on the 5th fret there on the high E. Alright, so the chords underneath that are this. This first chord is just a B power chord really. So you have, it's a B power chord shape. And you're using this shape a lot in this song. 2nd fret on the A, 4th on the D, third on the G. Now you don't have to do a bar, the top two strings, the B and the high E, ring open. Make sure you're not hitting the sixth string. Once again, keep a nice steady, just down up eighth note feel. Now, the strings aren't going to be hit every time, but as you get that consistent rhythm going, you'll be able to lock in with the feel of the song really easy. Then we have an F sharp minor chord. So this is a full bar at the second fret and the fourth fret on the A, fourth fret on the D. You're gonna jump up now to the fifth fret. This is gonna be a D sus two chord. Really nice sounding chord. You're just playing the four middle strings. You have a bar at the fifth fret. You're playing the fifth string there on the fifth, uh, fifth string and then seventh fret on the D and the G and then the 5th fret again on the B. Now this next shape, you're basically going to take your 1st finger and move it back 1 fret to the 4th fret, 7th fret on the D, 6th fret on the G. Now, if you see him play live, this last chord in the progression, I think on the recording is actually this. At least to me that sounds better. Which is basically the same chord as 2nd fret, but moved here at the 7th fret and you're strumming all the 6 strings. So you have these 3 strings held, 7 on the A, 9 on the D and the G, and then the, all the other strings are open. But if you see him play live, he usually does a standard E major chord there, which on the album it just doesn't sound like that's really what's going on. So he might just like to do that live because he can grab this chord to start over with better. But play whatever you think sounds the best. This is with the E major. And this is the way I like to do it. So without that, that G sharp in there, I think it sounds a little bit better. 
So we do, that's the, the progression that you're going to do. It's always going to go to that E at the end when the chorus is going to start over. Go back to that same first chord. But the chorus doesn't always start over. When it goes back to another part, I'm going to end it with this. So what that is, is just a C major chord with a G in the bass. So just play a C major, and then take this third finger, move it over to the low E string, third fret, and then replace the finger you picked up with your pinky. All right, and from there, it takes us into the actual verse of the song, which sounds like this. So that's that same chord shape we played the second fret and up here the seventh, which was just with the power chord shape with the open high E and the B string. So you're just going to do that at the fourth fret, then move it to seven. And when you move it to seven, you can add the low E in there as well. And then move it to ninth fret and then start over. A little later in the song, that is also the same chords that are used during the bridge. It's got all these weird sound effects going on over it. All right, so just in case you want to figure out what's going on there, exact same three chords repeated the exact same. All right, so now we've covered basically that, and now we have this pre chorus, which sounds like this. leads into the chorus. All right, so what's going on there? It's the same chord, starts as the same chord as the verse, and then it goes to a G sharp minor chord. So that's just like that F sharp minor we did earlier, just two frets up. Then it goes to an E flat dominant seven chord. So that's a bar at the sixth fret. And you're gonna play the eighth fret on the D string and the eighth fret on the B as well. You really just need uh, the four middle strings here. So you get that six on the G and the A there. And then the last chord is that big E chord that we did in the uh, verse. And I like to end the chorus with. So all together. get it so we have a little um, guitar break I think it's right after the first chorus uh, it's a pretty cool little guitar line let me show you that to you real quick and we'll take a look at it all right so it's a little bit intricate but it's, it's really nice to just get it underneath your fingers so the idea with this is just uh, let most of the notes ring as much as possible so we're going to have the high E string, 7th fret, open B, then the 6th fret on the G, and the 6th fret on the D. Now we got a little bit of hybrid picking here. We're going to pick the 6th fret on the D along with the 7th fret on the high E, those two outside notes. So the pick is going to get the bottom note, and your middle finger will pick the top note. That's really the only hybrid picking you need to do, is this very first two notes here. From there we can pick everything. We can have the 6 on the G, open B, back to that 6 on the G. Alright, so just think of those are the first four notes. Alright, and now you're going to just move your little finger back to the 6th fret on the high E string. And the picking pattern is going to be high E, open B, and then the D, and the G. So we had that first one. And then we have this one, which is Basically, the strings are one, two, four, three. 
Now the next four notes are the exact same picking pattern as those last four we just played, except now the top note is gonna be the fourth fret on the high E string. So from that sixth, see how the picking's the same for those two. So we have this. All right, now we have a little melody. And I'm gonna replace those two sixes with different fingers. So we have four, four, five on the B, and then six on the G, and six on the D, but this time I'm playing with my little finger and my third finger. You see why in a second. We end up with a C sharp minor chord, and then you're gonna play it. You're basically gonna strum those three strings, and then move it back to the fourth fret on the B here. Still the same two sixes. Alright, and then we're going to go to an F sharp major chord. Now you could just play this as a standard. He actually plays it with his thumb. It's kind of Hendrix style. But it's just a bar chord, full bar with this uh, second fret, major chord shape, fourth fret on the A and D, third fret on the G. But like I said, he goes. Alright, so the whole lick together. So that's about it for Ordinary World. It's a great song. Got some nice, interesting, uh, really full sounding chords too. And some cool little lead licks. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.